Hey you guys, so today I wanted to do a little video showing you how I do the lip art that I post onto Instagram and Twitter. I realize this might not apply to most of you because most of you probably aren't wearing lip art to work. But for those of you that are interested in the process and have wondered how people do the lip art that are sometimes posted on Instagram, uh, I'm gonna show you. All right, let's do this. Okay, so you're gonna wanna start by applying just the tiniest amount of lip balm and you're gonna wanna really rub that into your lips and then blot off the excess. You want to apply the lip balm so that your lips are smooth and they're going to work nicely as a base to essentially paint on top of, but you don't have so much lip balm that it's going to dilute the product or make it slip around too much. So two things you're going to definitely want when you're doing lip art is waterproof products and a lot of small brushes. Um, so I'm going to be using the Anastasia waterproof cream colors and the Anastasia liquid lipsticks today. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, so I'm going to, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to start by applying Anastasia's Ice Blue uh, Waterproof Cream Color all over the lips and I'm going to use just a little concealer brush for that. So just starting in the center and I want a really opaque color. So notice how I'm kind of dabbing this on more so than I am just kind of swiping it. If you swipe it, actually it worked out pretty well, but normally if you swipe it you're not going to get as opaque of a color so when I am applying something like this to the lips um, I'm going to pat it on more so than swipe it. And when you're doing something like this where it's kind of a weird color, you want to make sure to kind of almost stretch your lips to make sure that you're getting into every single little crack. Otherwise, all of those things will be picked up by HD camera. Get right in them crosses. Also, you guys be aware that a lot of products are not actually meant for the lips. So when you're doing this kind of lip art and you're using these certain products that maybe aren't lip safe, just, you know, be aware that they aren't lip safe. You might pop an extra limb, who knows? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the edge of the brush to create a sharp line. So instead of kind of trying to use the tip of it or, I don't know, the center, I'm just gonna use the very edge. And just use one continuous motion so that we can kind of get that sharp line. So for the top, notice how I'm holding my brush. I'm not tilting it perpendicular. I'm keeping it pretty flat to the shape of the lip so that I'm using the top edge of that brush but not the tip. The other thing that's important when you're doing lip art is to get right in like these areas over here so that you're not kind of, when you take pictures, and let's say you're posing like this kind of thing, you know, you can't see that kind of pink ridge. Um, you want to get it as close to the inside of your mouth as possible without ingesting it. So you're going to want to clean up between every single step. You can do that with a small brush and concealer. I'm feeling pretty confident with this right now, so I'm not going to clean up just yet. We're going to move on. Okay, so for this next part, I'm going to be using Anastasia's liquid lipstick in Bambi. And I just have this applied to a little um, palette so that I can work with it. And I'm using the best brush in existence AKA Smith 202, what up? Erica, can you quit drinking the water right now, please? Go on. This is the tiniest little brush ever, and it just, just works wonders. So anyways, I'm gonna be using this, and I'm going to outline my lips, I think. So when I'm doing this, I like to just kind of smile. The reason why I do that is so that my skin is like, Nice and, nice and tight up in there. As much as you can do continuous strokes as opposed to little feathering, uh, the better. Continuous strokes is going to make a nice solid line, whereas like little feathering is going to have it so that your lines aren't as clean and straight. When you're doing kind of fine lining like this, I know that it's um, hard to not get stressed out and kind of mess it up because of that, but really be strong with your brush. Um, hold it flat to the skin again and just drag it along. Don't try and use the tip and hold it perpendicular. Like always look at how I'm holding my brush almost completely flat to my skin. It's gonna give you more control and it's not going to make you have all crazy wobbly lines, which we don't want, girl. We don't want them. So while that bottom dries, I'm gonna probably do another layer over top of it, but I'm gonna do the top for now while that's drying. Same thing, just kind of smiling. I swear to God, we're not criminals. There's just freaking a lot of, just a lot of police cars right around our particular area. It's just how it is. 
Obviously, I'm way over lining my lips. You don't have to do that. Um, but because it's for photos, I'm not too concerned about it. If I was going to be wearing this to like a... Oh my god, these freaking sirens. It's not funny, Luke. If I was going to be wearing this to like a party or something, I probably wouldn't overline them as much because it does look a little ridiculous in person. But in photos... I mean, anything goes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that on the bottom one more time. Now to clean up the inside parts, I'm going to be taking my ice glue again with a little tiny lip brush, and I'm using the Smith 304 for this. And I'm basically just going to reline my lips and just kind of clean up the edges of that pink. Oh, P.S. you guys, this is not going to feel pleasant on your lips at all. And then for the outside lines, you can use concealer and a tiny brush to clean those up. So just making my lips um, tight again. And I just wipe off my brush in between uh, strokes so that I'm not picking up or so that I'm not moving around that pink color other. And the easiest way to do this is to just do a straight line and then kind of blend it downwards and away from the lips. So next I'm going to go ahead and take the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Yellow. And I'm just using the Sugar Pill Liner Brush for this. And I'm just going to do little stripes, I think. So again, making my lips uh, taut. So anything that's a design on top of the lips is not going to be a perfect line. Obviously, you have cracks kind of all in your lips. Um, these are the parts that myself and most other artists, I would imagine, would Photoshop to make them look straighter and cleaner. It's not even that these look that bad in person, but when you take photos with an HD camera, it's like, holy shit, that is the most raggedy, shitty line I've ever seen in my life. And you think you did an okay job in person, but you look at it in camera and you're like, wow, I suck, I should quit, and you know, just never pick up a makeup brush again. But then you just use Photoshop and everything's okay. So if you're looking at photos of lip art and you're getting discouraged because you're like, man, their lines are so clean and straight, don't worry because it's probably, like I'd say 99% sure, it's Photoshop. Just doing the same thing to the other side. But that said, with the Photoshop thing, if you are a makeup artist, you want to do your work as like precise as you possibly can because people having to retouch your work that takes more time and money so the less that somebody has to retouch your work the better so do take your time um, and just use small brushes make sure you're doing your cleanup and stuff like that and uh, yeah it'll be solid you might need to do a couple passes of this one to build the color properly yellow is really really hard to make opaque in general but especially over top of another color so basically you're gonna let it dry and then you're gonna go ahead and go over top again So you guys get the picture here, I'm going to go continue to add in some yellow lines and I will pick up after that. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. Uh, my lips are starting to feel pretty disgusting, like on a scale of 1 to 10 I'd say it's about a solid 8.9 right now. Um, I'm going to be using a bobby pin that I just bent um, and some liquid lipstick to dot some, some, some dots onto this. So yeah, I'm going to start over here. And I'm just pressing that on. I think I'm actually just going to go over those pink dots. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk gnarly now. So this definitely isn't my favorite lip art that I've ever done, uh, but here we go. This is what I pretty much do. So. Basically, I usually just use a combination of the dotting technique and the lines, and then anything that I really don't like in uh, the photo, I will touch up in Photoshop. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. For those of you that don't necessarily care about doing lip art, you can still use those application techniques um, towards normal lipsticks, like how you're holding your brushes and different stuff like that. Also, I know a lot of you have been requesting a video of me showing you guys how I edit my photos, what I do to them, and all that kind of stuff. I am going to be filming this for you. I need to find a program where I'm actually capturing what's happening on my screen. I've tried just filming my screen and it looks all 
fucking crazy. So if you guys know what's best for me to use for that kind of program, if you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments. Okay guys, let me know what you'd like to see next and I'll get back to you. Peace out.